All right, COVID couch concert number 36, Men He Never Knew. Uh, so I'm going to have a little bit more of a serious subject matter this week than some of my previous ones, partly because this week I've been watching some of the Ken Burns 11-hour special on the Civil War. Uh, didn't watch all 11 hours of it, but enough to remind myself of the grim reality and horror of that war in which over 600,000 American soldiers died, um, not counting the wounded. Um, and to put that in perspective, that's more American soldiers than have died in just about every other American war combined, World War I, II, Vietnam, put them all together. Um, but as I thought about it and did a little research, what struck me is that you know that war was fought to end slavery um, and there's been slavery recorded through the history of mankind. Uh, go back to the Bible, go back to ancient Rome, ancient Greece, ancient Egypt, they all had slaves. Ancient China had slaves. Japan had slaves. <clears throat> the Aztecs had slaves. Interestingly enough, the Incas don't appear to have had slaves. But the North American Indians would conquer other tribes and take slaves. Um, the African tribes would battle each other and take slaves amongst themselves. Um, but through some research and history, I've not been able to find another war that was fought to end slavery. Now, there have been uprisings of enslaved people, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about one country, one race, one people, volunteering to go fight a war somewhere else to free slaved people, um, which is kind of remarkable. Um, and, and, you know, historians may debate, you know, well, the war was actually fought over secession of the Union or different competing economic models, agriculture versus, you know, more industrial. But it still all goes back to slavery. That was the root cause of the debate. And taking it down from socioeconomic, political debate, the individual soldier, and there were a number of abolitionists in the North, who volunteered to leave their home and go fight that war and endure the hardships of that war, I find quite remarkable. Anyway, this song is written for the soldier. Uh, it's called Men He Never Knew. It goes like this. Young man in the saddle Riding north alone Wounds from the battle Longing for his home Longing for his home Say he fought for union. They say he fought for God. He kill a man for a noble cause. Does your soul still pay the cost? Does your soul still pay the cost? Call of a drum, a tattered suit of blue, he fought for freedom. Carry for a lifetime Scars run so deep 
ghosts come out at midnight to torture in his sleep. To torture in his sleep. The call of a drone. Tattered suit of blue He fought for freedom Now there's a statue in the square The cross is on the hill They say a yearly prayer For the boy that taught to kill For the boy that taught to kill Call of a drum, a tattered suit of blue. He fought for freedom. Men he never knew. Um, so the intent of my song is not to jump into the slavery, racial inequality debate in this country. Uh, slavery was bad. We still have a lot to work on and in racial inequality, but I don't think it's wrong to honor those brave soldiers who did something quite remarkable and something I think we can be proud of in the history of this country, which is to voluntarily fight a war to free another man. Um, so anyway, Honor the soldier. Honor the soldier. Hate war. Love the soldier. Anyway, uh, hope you all had a good week. Hope you have another good one. And maybe we'll see you for week 37. You all take care. Bye-bye.